Hello everyone, today I'm going to show you step by step how I do my hair, which is inspired by a mixture of a death hawk and a bat's nest. Supplies you will need in order to achieve this hairstyle will include a comb ranging from small to wide tooth, a paddle brush, and it has to have very soft bendable bristles so that way it will not pull on your hair. And I prefer the Schwarzkopf Got To Be Glued Blasting Free Spray Screaming Hold for Hair or Blasting Hold Spike Cement Finish. You can buy all of these items from your local, say, Walmart, Target, CVS, and even Walgreens for under $20. And I found that they have lasted me a long time. Um, you don't need to use too much hairspray either for this tutorial, um, and it will be an all-day hold, so you won't have to maintain your hair too much throughout the day. So what I do for the first step is I will find, I will start to part my hair, and I will create a part line, generally starting from the side of my head. And I will use my white tooth, or my paddle brush, to brush that away. You can ponytail this side to section it off, but I prefer not to since I will sometimes grab pieces that need to be grabbed here and there, so I just get a good section going. Now once you finally part the hair, you'll need to go ahead and get about a 1 to 2 inch by 1 to 2 inch square area of hair. Um, so let's start with the front, because that will be easiest to show you. It doesn't need to be exact, it really doesn't, because you'll just be tangling the hair anyways. I'll go ahead and zoom in for you. Sorry, that's kind of close and personal. So as you can see, there's a section and you don't need to hairspray it just yet, so go ahead and brush it upwards and grab it by the very tip. Make sure you have a secure hold on it. And start from the bottom. And what I do when I do back comb is I start from the area that it will be... I start teasing from the direction that the hair will be laying. So since I want it to lay to my left, I'll start on the side of the hair in the way it will be laying, and I'll keep teasing starting from the bottom and working my way up until I have created a big knot on my hair. And I will keep doing this section by section, and I'll take the thin side of my comb and I'll start teasing once again. I make sure to, that the knots are locked in there and no need to worry about these knots because they will wash out in the shower because I have very thin hair. Or I will use my paddle brush to slowly detangle it with oils. That will also work. So right now I have these two messes of hair on my head. So I will start with the next section. And remember to tease on the side that you want the hair to lay on. I will go behind my hair and I will grab the next section. A few tangles in this, so I'll just take my paddle brush. And it works just fine. Remember the direction you want it to lay. It doesn't have to be, but that's just what I prefer to do. Make sure you start from the bottom and lock it in, so that way it will have it extra hold. I don't hairspray my hair just yet, and you'll see why. Because too much hairspray of this kind will make the hair too heavy, and it will not hold itself up. If you miss any strands of hair, say your baby hairs, and you want those to stay up, grab them and start teasing from the top all the way down to the bottom, and that will keep them up. Now I will work my way around to this back side again. 
I have many layers in my hair, as you can tell, specifically for this haircut. You can do it without layers, but you will do a lot more teasing, and that's fine, whatever works for you. We're almost there, to the point that we need to actually style the hair. So once you've tangled a good parameter of your head that you want, because I'm having mine lay to the side, I'll go ahead and brush it very, very gently and very lightly the way I want it to be laying. I know this isn't too great for your hair, but I have noticed since I've started teasing my hair, my layers will grow out much faster but I will get a lot more split ends, so there's equal maintenance that you'll have to put in. There's a bit tangles. It will look pretty nasty at first, but this is about, I'm going to say the hundredth time I've done this, so I'm not worried about the tangles not coming out because I have an effective solution to remove them. I'm sure there are other tutorials on how to remove tangles or say a bat's nest, but I mean really, if you have a soft bristle paddle brush, that will pull out most of the tangles very gently without pulling on your hair too much. Especially over the course of the day, your hair will, of course, not want to be tangled now. Let's go ahead and zoom out, and you will see, oof, that is very bright. What happened to my camera? Hmm. Let's go ahead and fix this. The gain is up way too high. There we go. Okay, so now that we have the full nest that I want to have teased, I'll take this hairspray. And I'll, I won't totally douse my hair, but I will make sure to cover the parameter of teased hair. I usually leave the rest to be flat. Cover your eyes and your face if you want to. So you really don't need that much hairspray. If you teased it properly, it should stay on its own. And now I will brush it in the direction I want it to stay. Since this hairspray does dry pretty fast, I don't have many problems with brushing it afterwards. Some people may disagree on how I go about my hair, and that's fine to each his own. I am more than happy with my hair, and if I have any volume I want to add, you can still add it, and you won't need to hairspray it or anything. Certain areas will create volume, and certain areas will create just a little bit of length, say the sides of your layers and your hair will reach outwards. Um, maybe I will do a hair cutting tutorial in the future, but for now this will have to do. For anybody who has medium to long hair, you can do your hair like this now. Because I know I had some problems when I was trying to figure out how to keep my hair teased throughout the day, the simple answer was a small to wide tooth comb. And my hair is finished. I'll grab it and I'll style it into a shape because I want it to be more round. But I leave the side flat, pull it back, I'm letting my plugs close up for now. So if you have any questions or you need any help, um, feel free to contact me, um, send me a comment on the video, or you can, not sure about email, but Go ahead and leave a comment, and maybe a like if you did enjoy this video, and subscribe for more future hair and makeup tutorials. Thank you.